Pinterest. It looks nice in videos, politics, and sometimes even relationships. with the idea that relationships come in pairs, one person with one person. Except for those crazy Mormons. Today I wanted to talk to you about a different kind of relationship type that doesn't often get much spotlight, called polyamory. It refers to having multiple loves. Now before you freak out and say that this very idea betrays the natural order, in the olden days, polygamy, which I'll explain in a second, was practiced in many different religions. To be honest, I'm not really sure if that's because we've become more narrow in how we see relationships or because we don't see people as property anymore. Anymore. Well, mostly. Ugh. I'm not gonna open that can of worms. So when I was first starting to understand polyamory, it helped me to think of it as a group relationship. With everyone's knowledge and consent, polyamorous people form relationships with say three people or four people, or multiple couples. It can go really in so many different directions. Within the groups, some are open so you can pursue relationships outside of the group and some are closed where it's kind of like a committed relationship you stay within the group. But it's all premised on this idea that you can love more than one family member, more than one friend maybe we could love more than one lover person romantically ish polyamory differs from swinging in that there is an emotional connection that's encouraged and it's not just about casual recreational sex polyamory differs from polygamy polygyny and polyandry in that those three are types of group marriages which are illegal in the u.s now, growing up and living in the individualistic, cutthroat, everyone for themselves style of living that we see in the Western Hemisphere, the idea of a more community based relationship may sound a little bit alien. But, as with all ideas that might seem a little bit alien at first, we gotta think about it, question it, assess the facts. Maybe it's easier to raise a baby with four or five people instead of two. Maybe it's easier to get your needs met when there's two couples instead of one. Maybe more people can provide us with different or more plentiful opportunities to learn more, grow more, and explore ourselves more. But relationships are a lot of work. When I hear people say that polyamory is an easy way out, I know that they obviously don't know what polyamory is. This philosophy requires trust in all the people involved, honesty from all the people involved, really great communication from all the people involved to make sure that everybody's in the loop, everyone's happy, everyone's satisfied. Peeps, I am talking about some legit ass teamwork. And that doesn't even begin to address that big green jealousy monster in the closet, but it can be done. Obviously, since there are many happy and successful polyamorous. All right, now let's take a look at some of the ideas that people have about polyamory and break that shit down. Polyamory is an excuse to cheat. No, cheating is when they don't know about it or aren't okay with it. Polyamorous people have limitless love. I'd like to believe that love is limitless, but when it comes to time and energy for relationships, there are limits, and those apply to monogamous and polyamorous people. The difference between those two relationship styles is how each chooses to expend that time and energy. Polyamory is one of those new age hippie philosophies. Mm, no, polyamory isn't anything new. Hundreds of years ago, there was much more variety in the types of relationships that people had. More specifically, polyamory and polygamy were practiced by the upper classes. It wasn't until the Romans rose to power that we started to see monogamy as the default setting for relationships. Polyamorous people are more enlightened. While it's true that polyamorous people by necessity have probably had to question relationships, because it's not really the status quo, polyamorous relationship is just as valid as a monogamous relationship. When it's about personal consensual issues, the facts, data, and research that you need to make the right choice come from how you feel about it and what works for you. And that, dearest viewers, is the beauty of choice. So for those of you who are interested in learning more about how to make a polyamorous relationship work, I'm hopefully going to be having a very special guest come host a video with me. Um, I'm not sure when that'll happen. Realistically, probably in a couple months. Give me some time to work that out. In the meantime, I've listed some good books and websites in the description for those of you that can't wait a few months. So check it out. I love y'all oh so much. And I'll see you next week. Mwah!